15 seconds. Ready for an on-time launch for the instantaneous T minus 10, run. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Engines full power and lift off of crew six. Go Dragon, go Falcon. Pitching down range, 1.7 million pounds of thrust Day divided one. by the nine Merlin 1D engines on the first stage. Hearing good call, stage one propulsion is nominal. One Bravo. That one Bravo indicator are different abort modes that are called that allow the ground teams and the crew to track about the position of the Falcon 9 and the Dragon as they make their way up the eastern seaboard. In the event of an abort, these different abort modes would indicate about the position where Dragon Effect would land. Started. As well as uh, indicate what series of maneuvers Dragon would indicate but so far we're hearing good calls on the performance of the Falcon 9 on its ride uphill. One minute, 53 seconds into flight. We're about 30 seconds away from main engine cutoff, which will be followed quickly by stage separation and second engine start, which is the ignition of that and back engine on the second stage. Now about 10 seconds away from main engine cutoff. Two Alpha. Copy, two Stage Alpha. separation confirmed. There you can see on your screen confirmation of stage separation Perfect. as well as ignition of that second stage engine. Second stage is now carrying the Crew-6 astronauts to orbit. Beautiful view there on the left-hand side of your screen coming from the first stage, which as you can see is still gaining in altitude. It has not yet uh, reached its apogee. A beautiful view of the Florida Space Coast there in the background. Meanwhile, we're tracking good performance on that MVAC engine on the screen to your right. We'll be hearing periodic performance calls about once every minute of the status of the trajectory of the second stage and the Crew-6 astronauts that are inside Crew Dragon Endeavor. We'll also be hearing call outs. Bermuda. Just like you heard just there, as we pass over the various ground stations along the ascent track. Dragon, SpaceX, nominal trajectory. And there's that performance call out. Dragon acknowledges none of its trajectory. As for the first stage there on the left-hand side of your screen, that first stage still gaining in altitude, although um, that gain is slowing down. Um, it will be making its way back down to Earth, landing, uh, attempting a landing on our drone ship. Just read the instructions which is located um, off the Florida coast by a couple hundred miles. The MVAC engine on stage two burns for six minutes after second stage ignition. We'll continue to see 
this engine burn until about eight and a half minutes into today's flight. Dragon, SpaceX, nominal trajectory. SpaceX, Dragon, nominal trajectory. Again, these performance calls happen once a minute. Flight team's continuing to track the Falcon 9 and its ascent. Everything's looking good so far. You'll also continue to hear those check-ins of the ground stations as we pass them. At this point in time, we're roughly two minutes away from the next major event, which will be the entry burn for the first stage. We will relight three engines, uh, three M1D engines on that first stage to help slow the vehicle down uh, as it re-enters the Earth's atmosphere. We're approaching 200 kilometers in altitude. It's about 124 miles. Meanwhile, velocity. Dragon, SpaceX, nominal trajectory. Good trajectory calls. About to pass 12,000 kilometers SpaceX per hour. Dragon, nominal trajectory. It's about 7,500 miles per hour. Everything looking nominal for both first and second stages. Now coming up to T plus six and a half minutes into flight. Mostly what we're hearing now are the performance calls in the second stage. In about a minute is when we'll see uh, a series of events in rapid succession. It's been a pretty good pace since second stage ignition. Uh, about a, uh, less than a minute from now, we'll start to see Dragon, more action SpaceX, on the first stage. Nominal trajectory. SpaceX Dragon, nominal trajectory. As Gary mentioned, those callouts occurring about once every minute. Now we're about 20 seconds away from the first stage entry burn. That burn will last about 30 seconds and help slow the vehicle down as it re-enters back into the Earth's atmosphere. Stage one entry burn startup. And there you can see stage two, FTS has saved. on your screen that first stage entry burn has begun. That booster sees high drag, which actually scrubs roughly 70% of the velocity by the time that the landing burn begins. So about another 10 seconds of this entry burn. Again, three engines relit, the center and two Stage radio engine engines. And conclusion of that entry burn. Meanwhile, good performance on the second stage. Since second stage ignition, we've been in a two alpha abort mode. The next abort modes will happen in rapid succession to Bravo, to Charlie, Delta, Terminal and Echo. Guidance. Each indicating different series of maneuvers in the event of an abort scenario. But as you've been hearing through the periodic checks, we're seeing good trajectory, good performance on the Dragon and Falcon 9. Seco, second stage engine cutoff, would be coming at 8 minutes 48 seconds. We're coming up on that event. SpaceX, Dragon, Shannon. Shannon. Copy, Shannon. Now off the coast of Shannon, Ireland. Standing by for Seco. MVAC shut down. Stage one landing burn. And there we heard the call out indicating that landing burn. Dragon, SpaceX, we have a nominal orbit insertion. Great news there for. SpaceX Dragon copies nominal orbital insertion. Launch escape system disarmed. For Dragon Endeavor. Stage one, landing late deploy. Attempting to land on our drone ship. Just read the instructions. Stage one, landing is possible. And there you can see on your screen, and also indicated by the cheers behind me. Successful landing of this booster. 
its first trip to space and therefore its first landing. An eruption of applause here at SpaceX Mission Control. And of course, after second stage engine cutoff, you heard that call that the crew is in orbit. They're now in a coast phase where the second stage remains idle uh, for about three minutes before Dragon separates from the second stage. Meanwhile, you can see that first stage in the legs right on target. We're now getting views from the second stage. You can see this is one of the cameras that's pointing up into the trunk of Dragon. Of course, we're continuing to get views of the expansion nozzle at the end of the MVAC engine. But the crew is in orbit. Falcon 9 has almost done its job. It completed its job uh, with propelling the astronauts through the six minutes of the second stage and, of course, the more than two and a half minutes of the first stage. Continuing in this coast period, we're heading to about the 12 minute mark after launch. So we're approaching 11 minutes right now. But it's great to see the crew in orbit. Uh, of course, we are waiting for that step separation. You can see this view right here of the MVAC engine, the second stage really in just an idle position, really just coasting, not many commands being issued from the Falcon 9. But of course, at the very end, we'll actually issue the command for separating the Dragon from the Falcon 9. You'll see a series, you may see a series of burns. The Draco engines uh, on the service section of the Draco will fire and uh, increase uh, separation distance from the second stage. Once again, live view there from the second stage looking up into the trunk, which of course is the unpressurized section um, that goes along with the Dragon capsule to the International Space Station. That's where we are able to store uh, basically cargo that is able to be exposed to the vacuum of space. So a great view there looking up into the trunk. That will be hopefully the first views that we get um, of that separation event, which we're expecting here uh, any second. There you can see on your screen confirmation. Dragon separation confirmed. Of that separation confirmed. Dragon Endeavor is now floating free in space. That's right, the Falcon Dragon 9. Dragon CE here. Welcome to orbit. Congratulations. Your flight is exactly four years after the flight of the Demo 1 mission. Like Andre said, all the best things take two tries. Happy that we could get you off tonight. Uh, if you enjoyed your ride, please don't forget to give us five stars. Over to LD for some words. Also, a friendly reminder to put your sushi orders in for CRS-27. Have a safe ride to the space station, and we look forward to seeing you when you get home. Thank you for flying SpaceX. I could lost the signal, Bermuda. And SpaceX Dragon copies all. That was fantastic. Thank you. The Crew-6 astronauts, of course, uh, having a strong bond. And SpaceX Dragon, we'd like to really go the great ride to orbit today. Uh, it was greatly appreciated. It may have taken two rides, but it, two times, but it was worth the trip. And uh, I guess I'll pass it over to Woody for some words. Yeah, SpaceX Dragon, just want to say as a rookie flyer, that was one heck of a ride. Thank you. I would say put it as an absolute miracle of engineering, and I just feel so lucky that I get to fly on this amazing machine. Thanks to SpaceX, thanks to NASA, commercial crew program, and our international partners. Um, a lot of innovation went into this, tireless work effort, and a lot of painstaking attention to detail and focus on testing. And I think that's what makes it all possible to fly humans in space. Thank you.